obviously um, told the boys today. Um, what, what did you have to tell them? Yeah, so I just um, finished telling the the boys and the, and the coaching staff that um, I'd announce my retirement um, from AFL effective immediately. Um, obviously, a real tough decision, um, but it's one that I haven't just thought of overnight. Um, been thinking about it for a while this year, um, since the start of, of, of pre-season with my partner, my mum and dad, my manager. Um, just came into the season struggling a fair bit with motivation, um, passion for the game, um, also enjoyment and, and that drive, which is which was unusual because usually, you know, I, I love coming to training every day. Um, but that was something I was really struggling with. So um, I spoke to Pikey about it during the during the preseason, um, and also Emma Barr, and we were just working on a few things throughout throughout the year um, to try and get that that love and passion back. Um, but it just become um, harder and harder. Um, and then obviously with the injuries that I've had in the last couple of years have also played a big part as well. Um, you know, your body just body just doesn't feel the same um, after every injury, um, even if it's just a little one or two weaker, um, it just yeah, it becomes harder and harder and your body just doesn't, uh, doesn't feel the same. Um, you also, I believe in the last few weeks, obviously suffered from a little bit of vertigo. Talk us through how that's affected you as well. Yeah, so there's been um, a few things that have uh, happened this year, um, um, throughout the year, which have, have made it even harder whilst going through that struggle of motivation and one of its the last few weeks just um, started to get some vertigo symptoms um, which I noticed leading up to the to the Richmond game um, even even the West Coast game just being really dizzy out of nowhere um, driving to the club um, and then it started to affect me in training a little bit and it just increased um, and got to the point where um, after the Richmond game, I couldn't really remember much of the game and our flush run a couple of days after that back in Adelaide, um, I, couldn't, I couldn't get through the run, um, just really dizzy and lightheaded. So obviously seeing the doc straight away, health was my first priority um, and had a lot of scans done and blood tests also um, and just started to see a few specialists and a neurophysiotherapist as well, um, which is going to be ongoing. Um, so I can just get back to feeling my 100% self um, and, you know, just getting back to feeling normal again, which is m one of my main priorities at the moment. Um, and I guess obviously you'd like to just do that away from the pressures of the AFL world. Yeah, obviously being an AFL player, um, that's got to be your, your main priority, um, as hard as that sounds. You know, it's just a, it's a brutal game. Um, you've got to come to the club every day, 100% focus, 100% commitment. Um, and obviously going through these things this year, um, it was hard for me to do that. Um, I'd, I'd come to the club some days, I'd be driving here and it was to the point where I'd pull over to the side and I'd just got, start getting so anxious, like I just didn't want to come to the club. I'd almost want to turn around and go back home. Um, it got that to that point, you know, and um, yeah, on top of all the other things, it was just, yeah, come to this point now. Um, how's the, I mean, obviously, You've been working pretty closely with the club. How have they been in, in, in helping you, I guess? Yeah, the club's been really good from the moment I walked in um, here in 2015. Um, all, the, all, the, all my teammates have been great. Um, obviously, I've had a fair bit to do with the physios <laughs> um, the last few years with, with the two surgeries I've had and my injuries. Um, they've been great. Um, the doc this year worked a lot with him um, with my duct injuries at the start of the year and also my health the last the last you know probably month um, they've all been great um, and obviously the coach Don Don Pike um, formed a pretty good relationship with him um, throughout the few years and obviously my teammates um, they've been great with me ever since since moving here from Sydney first day I walked in they were all they were all great um, and also you know pretty privileged to be able to play on the same ground and same team as the likes of you know Tex Walker, Sloney um, and Eddie Betts obviously. Um, it's been yeah it's been a great few years. Um, I presume, you know, you're probably pretty proud of what you've actually been able to achieve um, in the system I guess. Yeah um, it's something I haven't really thought much of until the last few months um, when I had in my head that I was gonna you know, I really wanted to retire. I started to think about a few things. Um, you know, my partner would would say, you know, make sure you be proud of yourself. My mum and dad 
um, you've, you know, just to tell me I've achieved a lot, even though I only played the 63 games. But just coming from Alice, um, I think there's only been five or six people that have ever made AFL from from there. Um, is a pretty big achievement, um, is what they kept trying to tell me. And I never really thought about it like that. But now I'm thinking about it. I am proud of, you know, making the AFL and lasting eight years in the system. Um, it's taught me a lot. Um, you know, obviously footy has been a big part of my life. Um, but you know, I start to notice that footy's not not everything. The older I got, um, and I have other priorities outside of footy that you know I really want to focus on now as well. Um, is there anyone you want to thank in particular? Yeah, obviously, first of all, I'd like to thank um, the Greater Western Sydney Giants um, for drafting me. Um, I was only 17 years old when I signed with them um, in Year 12 at Emmanuel College. Um, two days after I finished school, I flew to Sydney. Um, with one bag, I think one pair of footy boots, didn't have a license, didn't have my L's or nothing. I'm not sure if I even had a FPOS card at that time. So I moved there. Um, and yeah, obviously thank Kevin Sheedy and Mark Williams, um, Choco, my first two coaches, um, for believing in me. Um, they just played me. You know, I was lucky enough to play 18 and games in my first season, 19 in my second, they, even if I had a bad game, they just seen something in me that I didn't even see in myself um, and they played me and that really helped me and matured me quicker than what a lot of, a lot of other 18-year-olds um, during that time, you know, didn't even get a game at other clubs so I was real thankful of them um, and then obviously I'd like to thank the Adelaide Football Club um, for believing in me and, and picking me up during the trade period um, when I went from Sydney to here. Um, Don Pike um, and everyone else that was involved in that um, in that at, at the time um, and obviously all coaches, all the coaches, all the physios, all the training staff, um, the doctors and obviously my teammates that I've had since I've been here who I've touched on um, just before have been great um, and obviously after just announcing to them how the response I got from them um, was was pretty humbling and made me feel you know, even more comfortable, just the, the support and the respect, you know, they really respected my decision. Um, but I'm still going to be around Adelaide, plan on living here for a long time now with my partner, who are the last people I want to thank is my partner Emma, I've been with for, for almost nine years now. She's been there with me before AFL, before I signed the contract. Um, she's been my backbone through everything. Um, my mum and dad and two brothers, obviously they, you know, They've been through everything um, with me my whole life um, and been my number one supporters since being drafted to the to the Giants. Um, they've they've you know rode the waves with me, the ups and downs, been there every step of the way. Um, so can't thank them enough. They know how much I appreciate them. Um, and also just the cent uh, like to thank Central Australia um, and Alice Springs, my hometown, for the support over the years. Um, you know, when you're someone from Alice Springs that, that makes it, the whole town gets, you know, obviously gets around you and supports you 100%. All my family there, um, all the surrounding communities and, and my Bush family, um, they, they love footy um, and for them to see one of their, you know, family members playing on TV um, means more than anything to them. So thank them for the support and yeah, just really looking forward to the next chapter of, of my life um, and also spending more time um, back home in, in Alice over the next coming years.